Greetings to everybody. Today's topic is electron delocalization. Electron delocalization is the dispersion of electron density. The dispersion of electron density stabilizes the species, but the localization of electron density increases the reactivity of the species. Electron delocalization happens in four ways inductive, electromagnetic, resonance and hyperconjugation. The first one is inductive effect. Inductive effect is otherwise known as transmission effect because this effect is transmitted throughout the molecule. It is a permanent effect and it is associated with the sigma bonded electrons. In inductive effect, the sigma bonded electron pair is permanently shifted towards the more electronegative side. Due to this, the sigma bond is not cleaved. Just listen, it is not cleaved but it is weakened. Now let us consider an example. 1 chloropropane. In 1 chloropropane, the terminal chlorine atom is more electronegative when compared to the other carbon atoms. So it has the ability to pull the sigma bonded electron pair of alpha carbon towards itself and makes the alpha carbon fractionally positive. Now the alpha carbon becomes more electronegative than the beta carbon which is next to it. Now it pulls the sigma bonded electron pair of the beta carbon towards itself. Then beta carbon becomes partially positive. It goes on throughout the molecule. This shows that electron pulling effect of chlorine is transmitted throughout the molecule. However, it can be practically ignored beyond the beta carbon atom of the chain. The inductive effect is denoted by an arrow in the middle of a sigma bond with arrowhead pointing towards the more electronegative atom. There are two types of inductive effect. The first one is plus inductive effect and the another one is minus inductive effect. In plus inductive effect, the groups that release electrons from the carbon end is known as plus group. Example, CH3 and the effect is known as plus inductive effect, minus inductive effect. The groups that withdraw electron from carbon end is known as minus I groups. The examples are chlorine, bromine, cyanide and so on. And the effect shown by them is called minus inductive effect. The next one is electromeric effect. It is a temporary effect and it is associated with pi bonds. The electromeric effect is shown by only the multiple bonded groups in the presence of an reagent. In electromeric effect, the pi bond is permanently shifted towards the more electronegative side. It is operated only in the excited state of the molecule. The reaction involved will be in the direction where the multiple bond is formed. This effect is temporary because it disappears when we take out the reagent. The next one is resonance effect. Resonance effect is otherwise known as metameric effect. It is just the flow of pi electrons from one part of the conjugated system to another part of conjugated system creating low and high density electron centers. In this case also there are two types of metameric effect plus metameric effect and minus metameric effect. The groups which donate electron to the double bond or conjugated system is considered as plus M groups and the effect is known as plus M effect. Examples are OH, Chlorine and Bromine minus metameric effect. Groups that withdraw electrons from the conjugated system are known as minus metameric groups and the effect is known as minus metameric effect. The examples are aldehyde, 
alcohol and so on. The last one is hyperconjugation. Hyperconjugation is otherwise known as baker nathan effect. It is nothing. It is just the delocalization of sigma electrons. In this case, the more number of hyperconjugative structures, greater will be the stability of the compound. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.